So when, it, when the range of compensation that is provided, you make more than the Prime Minister of this country. And Mr. Goldblum for joining us here today. Uh, Ms. Tate, again, I would ask, uh, uh, for the fiscal year 2022-2023, did you receive a bonus? Okay, thank you, uh, Ms. Tate. Mr. Goldblum, did uh, the board request to the government that Ms. Tate receive a bonus? The board uh, provides uh, its assessment of the CEO's performance, and we share that with the government. It's for the government to decide whether or not it, it pays a, a performance pay. And did the board uh, uh, give the assessment that Ms. Tate should receive a bonus to the government? I think the specifics of that recommendation is confidential, but I would say the board has been very supportive of uh, Ms. Tate's performance. So, thank you, Mr. Goldblum. So, so Ms. Tate, I would ask again, and it's my understanding that uh, uh, your your term will be coming to a close. I believe January third is is the end of that. Now. Uh, in terms of, 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 of performance pay bonuses and a severance package, we are in a situation where Canadians are struggling. Um, the cost of living is, 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 is making it unaffordable for so many Canadians to afford the essentials. Yet, when you look at the bonuses, $18 million awarded across CBC, uh, including uh, averaging tens of thousands of dollars to executives within the organization, yet your metrics certainly don't seem to add up with the talking points that are provided. Uh, as you conclude your tenure at CBC, uh, can you commit today uh, that you will not take a severance package or bo bonuses for the last two fiscal years? You've made several points in that, um, in that uh, question. Um, what I would say is, first of all, the, um, if we're talking about 22-23, uh, all the results of that year are public. For 23-24, all of the um, key performance indicators set out and approved by the board were achieved, if not exceeded. Thank you. So, so, so with respect, Ms. Tate, I did ask sp specifically about your compensation. So, so when, it, when the range of compensation that is provided, you make more than the Prime Minister of this country. That's your compensation. So to get a bonus on top of that at a time when viewership is down, ad revenue for your organization is down, I asked specifically about whether or not you would uh, uh, refuse to take a severance package at the conclusion of your term as CEO. I believe that Canadians would expect that um, the corporation honour its commitments to its uh, non-unionised employees as it would to its unionised employees, and I would just correct the record. Whereas total ad revenues are down, digital ad re revenues are up uh, since the beginning of my tenure, which they, uh, digital revenue was at about $38 million. Uh, this last year it clocked in at about $100 million. So I think it's important that we have accurate um, descriptors of what's going on at CBC Radio Canada. So, so, so Ms. Tate, you said that it's confidential, mm -hmm. um, that information, but that just doesn't work for uh, uh, Canadians. Canadians look at $18 million awarded in bonuses, the fact that uh, uh, you just spent $1,000 a night for a hotel room in Paris during the Olympics, and we are, are in a situation where you uh, are coming to the conclusion of your term uh, being paid more than the Prime Minister of this country makes, and you refuse today to uh, rule out uh, uh, that you will receive either bonuses or so-called performance pay or a severance package at the conclusion of your term. It's confidential, doesn't cut it for Canadians. It doesn't cut it for parliamentary oversight. So again, I ask, will you specifically today share with this committee whether or not you will refuse uh, a, a severance package or bonus at the conclusion of your term as president and CEO of CBC? As I've said, I consider that to be a personal matter. So, and I believe I'm protected by the Privacy Act in that regard. So, so, so Ms. Tate, um, taxpayers pay your salary, as they do for all of us, and you can Google an MP's salary, you can Google a Prime Minister's salary. But here we are discussing $18 million paid out to bonuses, $3 million paid out to executives. Madam Tate, your own documents show that there are 631 managers at CBC, 43, I believe it is, executives, and you're defending those, the, the average uh, bonus paid out 
to executives at your organization is more than most Canadians make in a year, and you're claiming that it's confidential? Madam Speaker, or Madam Chair, through you, I would suggest that it is unbelievable that Ms. Tate would come before this committee with a very specific motion outlining that answers are demanded when it comes to the compensation received by a public broadcaster. These are taxpayers' dollars that are paying for this organization. So, again, I will ask and emphasize, Ms. Tate, at the conclusion of your term, whether it's for previous fiscal year's bonuses or so-called performance pay, 30 seconds. or the conclusion of, uh, of a severance package, will you refuse that out of respect for the taxpayers that have paid for you to have this role over the last number of years? I believe I've answered the question, and for the record, I would like to correct some of the errors, in fact, um, that the member has um, uh, uh, articulated. One, this uh, $18 million in performance pay is not, um, these are not dollars that aren't agreed upon well in advance of the end of the fiscal year. We have a rigorous process in place, a process that has been in place for 20 years, Madam Chair, it's a process that is similar to that of other Crown corporations, other government agencies, and most private companies. A process that is guided by third-party consultants that advise us, experts that advise us on what it is we should be paying our uh, executives and, and our managers. And how much do those third-party consultants cost? Mr. Kurek, your time is up. Um,